The race is on to get the power back on at a senior living complex in North Hollywood. Yeah, it has been a frustrating few days for the 300 people living inside the building that's been in the dark mm -hmm. since Friday. KCAL News reporter Candace Crone live this afternoon in North Hollywood where LA DWP crews are working to restore power. Candace? That's right. I actually just got an update that crews just shut off the power completely here at Magnolia Towers. They actually had to remove a blown transformer uh, that caused the outage. At least two dozen people have left uh, to stay with family and friends during this time. Everyone uh, hoping that the power is restored soon. And here, and here. Larissa Kirikosen ran an extension cord from her refrigerator to the hallway outlet in her apartment building, hoping to keep her food from spoiling. She and some 300 seniors at the Magnolia Towers Co-op have been without power in their unit since last weekend when a transformer blew following recent heavy rainfall across the region. In home, it's an uh, apartment. It's yeah. very cold. A lot of blankets. And yeah, I have two, <laughs> two, three blanket I need to put. Over the past few nights, seniors lit candles inside their dark apartments. Those close enough to a hallway outlet plugged in space heaters and coffee pots to stay warm, thanks to a backup generator that gave power to the common areas. Little bit more, I put this. Olga Bochania stopped by to check on her 82-year-old mother, who relies on an oxygen machine. It's really tough on her because uh, it's cold. The fan is electrical, so there is no heat in an apartment. There is a, some warm uh, air in the uh, hallways, so they're keeping the doors open. LADWP crews showed up this afternoon to restore power as volunteers prepped lunch for seniors in need. The members have been working together to watch out for each other as they always do in a co-op. We have some volunteers that are working in the kitchen right now, getting ready to provide some meals for this afternoon for those who want to come down and have something to eat. Now, I did ask LADWP why it took crews so long to get here. A spokesperson told me that a number of factors uh, affect the response time and that this storm left about 140,000 customers without power. At last check, that number is down to 10,000. We're live in North Hollywood. Candace Crone, KCAL News, back right. to you. Candace, thank you so much.